Welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Angham, joined by <laughs> Michael Gamba Campbell. Hello, Nelson. I I see the new year has been treating you well yeah, thus far. I, I changed my name again to Ellingham. Uh, it's it's Ellingham. Ellingham. And you kind of have to <laughs> gurgle a bit at the end of the day. That's, uh, that's how you technically pronounce it. Um, new, yeah, new me, can we? Okay. I just say me. It's all the same, yeah. isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> if anything, probably less you because you're a uh, year closer to death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that, that the pep of life is just slowly draining out of you. Yeah, I've I've lost more of me. Hmm. Interesting. Think about that, listener. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're like under the age of like 20. One maybe twenty five. I feel like mm-hmm. then it's downhill. Yeah, you you slowly uh, one step closer to the grave. So happy to hear. Uh, this Reddit on Reddit can be is by Marvel's Grant Man one three six. Elton John says he's quitting Twitter. It saddens me to see how misinformation is now being used to divide our world. His use of the word now mm. is interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. It's been happening for a while. <laughs> for a while. Yeah. He's... Like before Trump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Elton's only just uh, catching up. He's just only worked out how to use Twitter. He's an older guy. And then he's like, oh, what's this? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> this doesn't seem true. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Elton John, not necessarily the like uh, leading figure that you want to be leaving uh, Twitter, I guess yeah. necessarily. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, steps forward is 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 always progress. Do you know what I think is uh, funny? I guess is the idea that um, uh, like people kind of think at some point, how will this platform ever die? Yeah. Same thing was thought around Facebook or even before that, MySpace, you know, and it's like everybody uses this. It's doing the thing that we want and enjoy doing the most, uh, posting about our lives or whatever and reading about other people's lives. (laughs) Um, And I think it's funny that this incident of Elon buying Twitter is the – inciting, you know, reason for why it will probably just end is that just enough people are like, no, this is really bad, poorly managed, probably shouldn't support this, so I'm just going to go elsewhere. I do think Twitter is weird as well, right, because I I feel like, especially in Australia, it just never really took off the same way it did anywhere else. Um, We we have uh, Oi Mate, which is very similar. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oi Mate! Yeah. yeah, this. Yeah. That? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we kind of have an upvoting and downvoting Simpson too. It's yeah, nah, nah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, I've got two thoughts. First of yeah. all, it's a question, actually. Mm-hmm. What do you think of the big announcement of, I am leaving this platform? Yeah. In some ways, I feel like, just leave it. Yeah. But in other ways, I'm like, I understand that they have a big audience and maybe they're trying to share. Yeah, sometimes I, I feel I, like you actually have an obligation yeah, as I, much as you might not want to. I, I'm, divi- yeah. I'm divided about whether or not I think it's a necessary thing to do. Yeah. But I think the safer thing is to do it. To yeah. Like, I'm not going to be on here. It definitely depends, though, right, on, on what the opinion is. because it, And really it's like, well, if I agree with their opinion, then they should tell everybody. And if I don't, it's like, oh, does J.K. Rowling have a responsibility to say she doesn't support trans because yeah. she's got a big audience? You're like, well, no, she shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But somebody supporting something they do, like, yes, they do yeah. have a responsibility <laughs> and, they, and they should uh, yeah. tell everybody. Um, um, the other yeah. one is I'm interested in the person that's on Twitter going, 
I just don't know about Twitter anymore. Yeah. I just don't know whether I should do... Oh, what's this? Yeah. Elton John's leaving. Wow. Oh, boy. Then I'm definitely leaving too. <laughs> it is funny. That's almost part of the reason why I bought this up too. <laughs> it's like Elton John was I, seemingly on the cusp of being newsworthy of leaving Twitter. Can't put it past him. <laughs> Brilliant musician. Yeah, yeah. We, we will never take that away from Elton. So good, yeah. As he's far as a Twitter the, personality, yeah, <laughs> wasn't aware he's on Twitter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what surprises me more than anything. Yeah. Hey guys, did you know Elton John was on Twitter? He's obviously not anymore. Uh, uh, mind blowing. Uh, do you? What do you think uh, that it will take? Like, who's the celebrity? Maybe do you think uh, that it'll take where everybody's like, "Whoa, okay," like Twitter is no longer Twitter anymore. Elon Musk. Yeah, like, guys, I, I, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. I made a mistake. I'm just I'm off. This, this platform sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Off. I'm going to start a new one. Yeah, that's what he'd do. He'd start some other new yeah. one. He's like, look, this one's more racist. The problem with Twitter weren't the things that I implemented after I bought it. Uh, it was already broken. I'm going to invent a new one yeah. uh, that you'll all love. Twitter sucks anyway, and I've always hated it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I'll do is I'll do what I always do is buy something that. It's already working, yeah, and then just take over it, and, and then, then get all the credit, yeah, yeah, and uh, and break it somehow. Yeah, just, <laughs> I'll fire like seventy percent of the stuff and just see how we go from there. Uh, Looking at you, Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon Zuckerberg would sell it? Mm. Maybe if it funds the metaverse. Oh yeah, way. that's true. Maybe next I'll have fingers. Oh, Ooh, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, it is weird that the metaverse exists as a thing, doesn't it? Also, like, two things to be clear. One, the metaverse wasn't invented by Mark Zuckerberg. He yeah. just very sneakily named his company Meta yeah. to make it seem like they invented it. <laughs> but it was existed before him. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I mean, Mark Zuckerberg created one thing. Yeah, and, uh, and he kind of stole bought that. everything. <laughs> Actually, he did, he did kind of steal that. He... Created it based again, off stealing again, something. Like, uh, like Elton John, brilliant musician, can't take it away from him. Yep. Uh, Zuckerberg, first to the market. Yeah. Can't take that away from him. Yeah. Certainly beat those Winklevoss twins. I have a question. Yep. Is Mark Zuckerberg on Twitter? Uh, I think he is. Do you remember? Here's another uh, colorful personality. But uh, several years ago, um, Kanye West... Yes. decided to he needed a billion dollars. Yeah. So he decided he was going to ask Mark Zuckerberg publicly for it and the way he did it was by tagging him in a bunch of stuff on Twitter. Right. And yeah. I feel like several people had pointed out to yeah. him of like yeah. if you're going to do that yeah. that's not the platform to do it on. But I yeah. feel like he was tagging an account. Right. Okay. Like definitely the real Mark Zuckerberg. Don't worry that I don't have the blue check mark. You'd probably have one just to yeah, like the, one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a different platform, but two, just to see what they're doing, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you'd at least have a burner, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, I guess so. Zach well, it, so, so you think Mark's like just scrolling through Twitter, not for the content of what people are posting, just but the just algorithm. Being like, oh, oh, it gave me this one by Kanye because he tagged me, yeah. and uh, oh, I might give him a billion. Oh, I might. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, do you think there was ever a point where Mark was like, I want to create a platform that celebrities can use as well, just like Twitter, just to try and corner off the market and get everything? I don't know if he's ever had an original thought. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's my point. It existed already. He was <laughs> right, like, right. I could so, just, so you're saying I could that just after Twitter do was invented. that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Uh, then probably. Yeah. 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 He's, he's definitely thought about it. Yeah. Because he definitely saw Snapchat was like, but what if Instagram stories? Yeah. And then, then it was his. <laughs> Uh, okay, Gamer, I think we should move on into Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit. This Ask Reddit is by DryC9227. What's a hobby someone can have that is an immediate red flag? Hmm. What about... Yep. It, it, okay, this... Are we talking about any age, any gender or whatever? Or yep. Because I was going to say, like, if it's specifically an older man collecting, like, young American doll clothing or something. Yeah, yeah. But if it's a little girl, 
Yeah, You're like, oh, that's fine. totally normal. Do you know there is uh, sort of on that topic? There is actually a group of like forty year old plus men that are really into and collect My Little Pony. Yeah, yeah, uh, bronies. Bronies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know about bronies. Yeah, 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 yeah. you are one. Yeah, <laughs> um, I love stop. Fire. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know any of their names. But that sounds spot on uh, for a pony name. Uh, yeah, which I think is really uh, funny because okay, there's some weird dudes in that for sure. Yeah, but also there's probably guys that are just like, nah, I'm just really just into like it. the whole just like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I thought that unfortunately, if you're doing taxidermy, I'm sorry. Okay, but you're even you as you might be a normal person, you might think you're a normal person. <laughs> so does but it's a red flag regardless. Does that extend to if it's just their job as well? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you work with dead animals. You stuff dead animals. You're weird. That's a red flag. I don't care who you are. Also, probably just like a mortician. Again, well, I'm just getting into jobs now. If you do that for a hobby, that's that is a, a red hobby. Flag. <laughs> that is a job is is maybe like an essential service. Yeah, that needs to be done. Yeah, mm-hmm. but as a hobby, is very interesting. Yeah, uh, as a hobby, probably illegal. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I thought we could go through some of the comments as yeah, well, so okay. other people sure. should. So Sam Hamwich. Mm-hmm. Uh, said, my old roommate used to go out driving on rainy days specifically to splash pedestrians. That seems pretty <laughs> red flaggy to me. <laughs> that is such a weird thing to do. Do you call that a hobby? I suppose I so. guess it's a hobby. Yeah, just an arsehole. Yeah. That's what he is. That is so weird. Uh, low thread count sheets said dog fighting. That's a pretty big one. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's that's that good. Any sort of animal fighting another animal, I feel yeah. like, is uh, not. A, it, that's a bit of a red flag. Uh, uh, this one says uh, it's by Bartholomew Rehard. Making fake animal rescue videos, abusing animals, hurting or making fun of homeless people for content. Yeah, that's... Yeah, are they hobbies? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, I think you can do things. A lot that of aren't hobbies. <laughs> a lot of these aren't hobbies. Yeah. Nerdy Bernie says adopting too many kids are animals when you can't afford them. Is yeah. that a hobby? Is it a hobby? I don't know, I don't know if this adopting is adopting kids. Is that a hobby? I think people are confusing what a hobby oh, is. Okay. Uh, Get your thoughts on this. Ecstatic Stranger 401 said gambling. Oh, yeah. I guess that is close, definitely closer to a hobby. Yeah. But yeah, I suppose so. The top I comment, mean, yeah, that's that's the top good. comment on this po- mm-hmm. uh, comment says uh, by Donny Bromatty said, casino dealer here. It's almost never a hobby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But see, what's funny, right, is there are obviously people like professional poker players and stuff. And. I wonder whether there is an in-between point where you're like, it's a hobby and I and I don't get addicted to it, but I enjoy playing th- a card game or yeah. something that can, like, uh, you know, be calculated or, yeah, played in, in some way. Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of these replies are saying people that are too obsessed with social media. Right. Not a hobby. Not really a hobby. And also you're posting about this on Reddit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what <laughs> yeah, you think that yeah. is. But yeah. this is the last one, which I think is funny. This is by Ha underscore PhD. Uh, this is a hobby that gives them a red flag. Crushing monster energy drinks and punching drywall. <laughs> <laughs> That seems pretty healthy to yeah. me. And all the top comments are, bro, are you serious, bro? <laughs> what did you just say, bro? <laughs> um, yeah. I think uh, the safest thing is to not have a hobby because then people can't judge you. Yeah. Do you think- Our pod- hobby is technically this, podcasting? I guess. Yeah. Is a, I, think for that's us. A re- I think that's a red flag hobby. Not for us. We don't enjoy this. I yeah, feel yeah. Like, people <laughs> en- like people enjoy hobbies. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, do you know I've like gotten to the point flag. now? If, uh, occasionally, if someone says, "Do you have a podcast?" Yeah, and I say, "Yeah," 
and they say, oh, what's it called? I now just go, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't I, I don't want right. to. Uh, you know yeah. Like See, I made the mistake of telling my boss once, or he kind, he sort of figured it out, uh-huh. actually. He got to a point where, because I had a video he interview. He saw that tattoo that said, it's... ask me about my podcast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, he saw, I had a video interview and he saw my, or actually he wasn't, even, he heard about that. I had like a fancy bike. To do oh, like, okay. Yeah. Going. And then he just kept asking about it where, until I was like, I feel like I fucking need to say something now. Um, and he enjoys telling other people that I've got it and that oh, I'm going to be famous because of it. And I'm like, you've not heard oh, it. Oh, so many. I I feel it's so much Morocco when he's like, hey, he has to go on a podcast. You should listen to it. And I'm like, no, don't, 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 don't do it. It's a no, 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 no. <laughs> um, I want to do another question only because I want to know what the answer is for this. Uh, it's by darling Nikki three one nine. Who is the female vocal equivalent of Morgan Freeman? I feel like you got two options here. Yeah. One is yeah. Oprah. Okay. That's more of a age thing. Yeah. And also she tried to uh oh was hard to do um the nature documentaries instead of uh uh what's his name? Sir David Attenborough. David Attenborough. Uh she I don't know if you know that. I do not know this. Okay. No. Uh so in America Instead of David Attenborough, it was Oprah. For some of those nature documentaries, you get Oprah. Hmm. Um, because wow. because I I think again it's one of those weird like there was a producer somewhere that was like oh, the American people won't, yeah. won't listen. What's to he a even British saying? Guy. Yeah. Oh, it's all proper. Yeah. Uh, so she sort of had the okay. experience. I did not know that uh, of that. But then the other one I think no, is, I want, and I want, this is my choice. I want to know if you and I have the same. one. I yet. think it is. It's Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um, the, the movie Her really seals that. Oh deal. yeah, absolutely. Being like, how is the voice sexy? I know. I don't get it. I'm I'm just so attracted to uh, that that voice. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, my my go to was Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Let's get into today. I advise. So now it's time for today. I learned. Today I learned. And also sometimes advice. This today I learned was by Explicitly Mellow. Today I learned tomatoes are native to the Americas, so there was no such thing as tomato sauce in Italy until at least the 16th century. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Because pasta was just cheese based, maybe? (laughs) Maybe, yeah. Um, I want to know what else the Italians are lying about. Hmm? Pizza guys, where'd that come from? That's true. If we end up going to like Estonia, yeah, and find a traditional Estonian dish that is some kind of flatbread, yeah, with tomato and cheese and such on top, yeah. I'm like hang on oh, a boy. minute, Mamma Mia, the bloody Italians! There is a chance that Italy and Italians don't actually exist. Oh my god, have you ever been there? Never been there. I've never been there. No. You know what? We should go and check. Yeah, we'll go. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll suss it out for we'll everybody. We'll eat their food. What's, we'll check out their views. What's going to be nuts, Cambo, is if we land in a desert somewhere and- <laughs> We get out and there's just one person going, what are you doing here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, we land, we get out, and the air hostesses are like, look. <laughs> Honestly, we didn't know what to do when we were up in the air because we knew we know that Italy doesn't exist. Um, we, we discussed with the captain for a bit, and we were like, you know what? Let's just land somewhere. We yeah. can't keep flying around forever. Uh, and we landed here. The truth is, please don't tell anyone. Yeah. Italy doesn't exist at all. You think it's real? It's shaped like a boot. How yeah. could that be real? Yeah, that it, it, insane, <laughs> guys. Insane. It was a kid's drawing uh, that, that accidentally made it into some books, and here we are. Yeah, a city pretty much underwater. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, this also gives me a sort of crisis because my mum is Italian. Oh no. And- <laughs> Well, there, yeah, there's your sauce. You go home. Yeah. You slam the door and go, Mum, yeah. what else are you lying about? Yeah. You tell me right now. And she goes, Oh my God, you found out. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Maybe they're all aliens, the Italians. Hmm? Could be. Uh, would make a lot of sense. <laughs> Can be. I've got three hearts. So, um, here's another one. This is by uh, uh, Lazy Liners. Lazy Lines. Hmm? You sure? Today I learned actor Kevin Bacon pays off DJs when he attends weddings so that they won't play Footloose. <laughs> Do you reckon? Uh-huh. Okay. The, uh, there's two things that I think about this. One is, if I'm a DJ, I don't I don't feel like at a wedding, Footloose is like a guaranteed on the playlist no, song, unless you see Kevin Bacon. Well, what I'm what I'm thinking is, it's got around. DJs have heard, yeah. Hey, Kevin Bacon will give you money <laughs> if you even just threaten to play Footloose. So, do you think that like they see Kevin Bacon entering? Yeah, yeah. And then as he walks past, they're like, Footless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Kevin. Oh, he's, yeah. oh what's that? You got, you got any money on you or anything? <laughs> like Be that? shame if someone, you know, yeah. played Footloose. Played Footloose. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I think he's, he's uh, yeah, just perpetuating this this circle. Do you think? Of like he pays somebody off so then they tell another DJ and then they're like, oh, yeah, you just keep doing this and then he has to keep paying them off. But really, if he just didn't do it, they're not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to play Footloose because because uh, it's just not not a uh, very good song. Do you, do you think that... I mean, um, it's fine. It's a good song. The, the Australian version of this, because yeah. apparently this is like an Australian wedding thing. If Tina Turner goes to a wedding, oh. she pays DJs not to play the Nutbush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, the Nutbush and Macarena are uh, staples at any wedding. Yeah. Uh, I won't go to one without it. But when I, I used to do my uh, uh, lightning discos business mm-hmm. for, for kids' birthdays parties, we used to do the Macarena Nutbush. How bush often at the start. were you playing Footloose? Um, never ever. Unless Kevin was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, unless he was there. But yeah, I don't know. It was the highest paying gig, got $10,000. I don't know to the extent to which the coordinated dance to Nutbush City Limit is around the world, but mm. I certainly know I was once at a wedding with a French girl. Yeah. And the song came on and everyone started doing the same dance. Yeah. And she was like, what the fuck is this? She's <laughs> like, oh I've my- never heard of this in my entire life. <laughs> Yeah, did she think this that was some sort of uh, prank that we were all pulling <laughs> yeah. on her? Yeah. She's like, "Oh my, oh my god, I'm being flash mobbed." Yeah, by the whole wedding, it's, it's just doing for a, me. some kind of rootin' tootin' dance. You, I don't know. You guys got together and practiced a dance just to <laughs> just to weird me out. That's strange. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not even an exciting dance, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, you do a jump. That's fun. Yeah, oh, jump that is club. a bit fun. You can you can do the fancy footwork as well as yep. you're turning around. Yep. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, but uh, yeah, do you think that a lot of artists have this problem when they go to a wedding or something and they're like, "I hey, just don't." I mean, unless you're Kanye and then he's paying people to yeah, only yeah. play his songs <laughs> but, and um, rants. And and yeah, yeah, here's yeah. some opinions I had on this uh, this yeah. particular TV show. Play I, those. I recorded myself just uh, saying some stuff. Uh, can we just <laughs> play this? Uh, He's not even invited to that wedding. You just yeah. turned up. Is he invited to any wedding? Surely <laughs> yeah, not. Probably not. Like not at this stage. Uh, yeah. I. You know what I thought was interesting. Uh, recently. Uh, went and saw the pop punk band Sum 41 live. Mm-hmm. And their big hit is Fat Lip, mm-hmm. which don't want to waste my time, coming out of the prison, a casualty of society. Mm-hmm. During, before they came on, they play music over the PA. And the song Prisoner of Society by The Living End <laughs> came on. Right. And everyone in the crowd was singing along with that song. <laughs> and I was wondering whether they're backstage being like, the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's so similar to their song. Yeah, Casualty yeah. Society, Prisoner of Society is like a fast punk song. Yeah. But they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Why do they <laughs> all know this? <laughs> this yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think The Living End really made it in Canada where Sum 41 it from. Yeah, so yeah. They, they must be very confused. Like. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, also, did you see Kevin Bacon in the Marvel special? Yeah. Sucked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, it was it was fun. It was nothing. It was literally nothing. It was literally nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anywho, let's move on to shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. This shower thought is by 
PowerX21. Taking pictures of people on the street is considered less creepy the more expensive your camera is. <laughs> what, what about, like, satellite cameras? Oh. They're probably the most expensive cameras there are. Yeah, that's that's true. No one bats an eye. Mm, but, but, but potentially the most creepy. If you're if you got sent in the mail <laughs> a series satellite of images. satellite images of just you just about <laughs> on the street, that's creepy. That would be so funny. I would be like, whoa, there whoa. is like teams of people looking yeah. at me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah. imagine it's just one dude able to do this. This it's goes like, beyond someone with an obsession. Yeah. This is someone is hunting me. Yeah. To, yeah, a team of people are, are tracking my location <laughs> and makes it even weirder when you're like, I, I don't even, I'm not doing anything nefarious. Yeah, no, I'm just no legal gone, activities. Gone <laughs> just, yeah. I'd be, uh, I think I'd be a little bit flattered. Actually. The, there is a, there's a, an equation here because the more expensive the camera, the less creepy, but it also depends on the distance. Because if you've got a really expensive camera with a long lens, but you're taking a photo from up like four stories high in a building out a window of someone, oh, that's creepy again. Yeah, that's creepy again. Yeah, distance is important. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I think there's actually is more of a middle ground. Because I imagine an uh, expensive camera is uh, a lot to do with the lens too. Mm-hmm. You know, is being a, as as an expensive part of the camera. Yeah. So I'm imagining somebody with a big giant lens just taking a photo on the street. I'm like, that's weird. But yeah. if it was like a normal DSLR kind of standard lens, I'm less likely to bat an eye. And then, what are you more creeped out about? Someone quickly gets out their phone, snaps a photo of you, and you kind of see it happen. Yeah. Or if they get out a disposable camera and take a photo of you. Yeah. Because they have to go get that developed. Yeah, that's... And I take photos of crap on my phone all the time. I feel like that's... The, the intent there is like kind of whatever. But a disposable camera is a pretty yeah. deliberate thing. Do you know what I would reckon? For, for some reason, it makes me think, oh, they've just got like a, a hobby, a weird hobby of taking, uh, you know, like film photography with a disposable camera. Yeah. I think... So and so to me, it, it becomes kind of okay. Okay. With a, with just if they pulled out their phone and took a photo of me, I'm like, you're using that to show people this crazy guy you saw on the train or whatever, <laughs> um, and that would make me super paranoid, uh, and I would be a bit creeped out. But if it was a disposable camera, I'd be like, oh, that's unique. That's okay. You've got you've got an interesting hobby yeah. where you just. But then if they like kept going. If they get through a whole reel of <laughs> film, <laughs> yeah. it's just me. They keep winding that little dial yeah, on the yeah, back, yeah. snapping a new one, winding the dial. Especially if they didn't move position. <laughs> like it's essentially the same, the exact same frame uh-huh. for like, I don't know, 50 photos or yeah. whatever. It also depends on if you keep going to places and they're taking photos again and again. Yeah. If it's all in the one location, they're not moving. Yeah. You're like, oh, whatever, like. Maybe I've hit a certain light and it looks good and they wanted to take a few safety snaps. <laughs> ah, yes. But if you're, like, coming out of your work and they snap a photo of you there, yeah. and then you're down at the shops and they snap a photo of you there, yeah. if that's when it starts getting creepier. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's like, you like, walked with me. Then I would think world's worst PI. Yeah. <laughs> and First my of all, partner's investigating me. She thinks yeah. I'm cheating, but she couldn't be bothered spending that much money on it. <laughs> PIs are just got a guy that just <laughs> follows me around. It's really obvious that he's there. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, here's another one. Uh, this is... Oh, oh, sorry, my phone <laughs> screwed up for a second. Okay, uh, this one is by... Fun... I funny is better. Mm-hmm. You have to wait your whole life to see if you get murdered or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah. yes. I like to think your father is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> huh. I, I did. did. I did get married. <laughs> but also, what I like the idea that you're 
super old and you're basically going to die of old age, but you're still not like 100% yeah. sure. Every time a nurse you're walks past really, the door, you're like, oh, <laughs> give me no, a, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to breathe. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm seconds away, but there could, <laughs> there could be somebody that just comes in and shoots me a couple yeah. of times. All right, yeah. here it comes. I can feel it come. Oh, I've been stabbed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, anywho, <laughs> uh, let's move on and get into podnapping. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm being podnapped! Podnapping. This is podnapping, where we nap a pod. We take a topic of conversation or a segment from another thing, and we do it ourselves. Uh, this week, I've got one from a listener. Uh, so I'm going to read their email, and then we'll do it. Hey, Nelson and Cambo. Long time listener, first time writing in. My name is April and I live in Missouri. Oh, Missouri correspondent. Maybe. Do we have another one? Not anymore. April, you yeah, <laughs> Missouri correspondent. Uh, you obviously have to purchase the t shirt off Red Bull <laughs> <laughs> that we get like $4 for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or you could send us $5 and not have to purchase the t shirt. Oh, or $6. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Uh, You probably don't remember, (laughs) but in a previous podcast, there was a discussion about the large amount of caves Missouri has. Uh, This is very true. We have approximately 7,500 caves. My city even does an annual 5K or 10K Groundhog Day run through the caves. The caves are also home to distilleries, paintball arenas, and exotic orchids. Uh, orchards, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes, orchards. Uh, I decided I wouldn't write in unless I had a pod napping for you, and I have delivered. Say hello to Price Tuition. <laughs> this is a card game, but I thought it'd be perfect for a pod napping. Mate, anything's uh, good for a pod napping. Any old shit. Yeah, yeah what, just whatever. <laughs> this one seems like an actual yeah. good one, but like anything. Will Someone do. can send us through like a list of birds. Yeah. We'll read it as pod napping. That'll be a pod napping. Uh, before we get into it, pretty interesting about the caves. Yeah, they a lot of caves, and I love that April was correct in assuming we probably wouldn't remember talking about that. Yeah, I, I think very I vaguely I remember. Don't it. Remember a thing? Was there something about cheeses being stored in caves oh. in Missouri, or did I just make that? There up? was something about something about cheeses. Cheeses being stored, stored in mountains, in mountains somewhere. Yeah. Missouri, Missouri I perhaps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Missouri a mountain area? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Anywho. Uh, okay, so the rules. Read each prompt. Okay. You each secretly write down your absolute bottom dollar price it would take for you to do the prompt. Then you each guess how much you think the other person would do it for. Closest guess of the other person's price gets a point. Or you can just play for funsies and skip the point keeping. Here we go. There will obviously be some strict uh, point keeping, but there might be different rules that come up that uh, adjust the point (laughs) score. (laughs) So, okay. So we secretly write down the bottom dollar that we would pay. Yeah. And then we get also separately guess how much the other person would pay. Uh, Yes. 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 So, uh, okay. I'm going to read the point. I'm not going to write mine down only because I'm using my phone at the same time. It's It's a thing. Uh, okay, first one. Uh, how much would it take you to say, can't win them all, to the next person that shows you a picture of their baby? Okay. Uh, I've written down mine, and then I'm going to write down yours. Okay. Um, Perhaps I'll, I'll go first, because then that way, if you answer first, you can't change your answer later because you haven't written it down. Yes. But mine's written down, so I have proof proof that I've... Yes, yes. Oh, you just be honest. Well, then I should go first, because you've also written what I've said, because you could say what you think I've done. And then oh, I'll yes, sure. We could both lie. So I'll go first. Yeah. So then at the very least, we've gone. Anyway, um, I want to say with this one, it's a bit tricky, right? Uh-huh. Because I think I've got a few... I've got at least two friends right now, uh-huh. actually three, that have recently had babies. And depending on which person showed me, depends on the uh, amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, my friend uh, Nicola, for example, um, I would not want to say this to her baby. That'd be much <laughs> higher. 
But my friend Eden, I'm more likely to. Yeah. He, he's, he's, he's a funny guy. Funny guy. A bit of joking around, you know. Uh, I think I'm going to go with. So I feel like I need to like put it somewhere in the middle uh-huh. of, of, of assuming I, I have equal chance of meeting these people. I've put 50 bucks. Oh, okay. Okay. I've, I've misread you. Okay. I said you'd probably just do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> but assuming that like like you could kind of get away with it as a joke. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, I still feel like because there's the under end of the spectrum. Yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah. Okay, so now I need to guess what you would have put. Um, yeah, like five bucks. I put ten. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fair enough. Okay. How much money would it take you to take a three minute call in your seat at the movie theater? Mm. Oh yeah, don't mm. oh, don't like being this person. Uh, um, uh, can I can I like whisper the conversation like hey hey how are you yeah yeah now I can talk hey okay yeah do we need more, some more parameters because if you're like hey yeah yeah now what's up yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. then the price increases I could uh, maybe call one of my friends that just talks a lot. And then I, I'm on the phone call, but I have, yeah, but I say you're, nothing. You're, you're, you're mainly gone. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but also, like uh, the amount of patrons in the cinema. Yeah. I think it needs to be, let's say, half full cinema. Okay. Oh, okay. And maybe I need to increase my okay. price. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think I've got. I've got. Okay. I, I, I've got. I've got mine. I yeah. really would not enjoy doing this. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what would you do it for? Okay, so I've got five hundred bucks. Oh, okay. I've got. I've. I put you down as two hundred. Oh, okay, okay. Here it goes. Um, I think. I wonder whether this makes any impact on it, which is that you enjoy movies more than me. Yeah. So there's like a very small percentage chance that you could get banned from a theatre. Oh. And you loving music so much yeah. might be, you know, more risky. I'm going to say maybe you did 500 bucks. I, I went I went pretty low. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll explain my thought. I went $160. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's very My precise. thought was how many people would have to complain enough to – want their money back yeah yeah and if a ticket's roughly 20 bucks <laughs> oh, okay i've been like that that's a handful of people i feel like okay. most people would just be passive aggressive about it yeah, yeah and you would get the couple that would want uh, their money so i've calculated that about 160 bucks would probably cover how many i think <laughs> would be like fuck okay. you yeah. give me money for my ticket you've ruined my movie oh okay yeah also it depends what point in the movie it is if it's at the beginning of the movie yeah. Yeah, or if it's at the climax of a movie, yeah, I would say the price would change. If you ruin the end of a movie yeah. for someone, right, by talking over it, I think it's way worse. And maybe you miss a bit of dialogue yeah. at the beginning. Well, see, I feel like the start can kind of like set up. I feel like is sometimes important too. Like, but if it's you like you know how some movies start with like a musical montage with the opening credits or whatever, yeah. you're talking over them. Oh no! Do you know what I hate when people but, talk over that? And you're like, the movie look, started. Shut the f up. I agree with you, but <laughs> that is less yeah, annoying yeah. than if they're talking over the the mm-hmm. emotional climax of a movie, right? Yes. Yes. True. Mm-hmm. Like if if you're seeing a rom com and it's the point where the guys run to the airport in the rain to stop the girl getting on the plane to leave and he's doing the big speech and everyone's like oh my god and someone's talking over that yeah. compared to the beginning where it's shots of New York from a stock yeah. video website that they put titles over yeah you'd be more annoyed if they did it over the speech at the airport but also how about like Infinity War where they're just all fighting for a while I feel like yeah, you could yeah, take yeah. a phone call. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't really now they're still fighting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, punching each other. Yeah. Oh, shit, Thor's here. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, all the girls did a weird pose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, yeah, I'm a bit horny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How much money would it take you to have a moist hand every time you introduce <laughs> to someone for all of 2023? Oh. Oh god, yeah, this one's uh, tough. Mm. Okay, I, I I've got uh, answers, but I yeah, I don't know, I don't know about this. Um, I think I'm undervaluing myself every time. Oh man, okay. 
Uh, yeah, okay, I've got it. I'm going to go... I'm going pretty high here. Okay. I definitely haven't gone high enough then. Okay. I think like 10 grand. Oh, wow. Okay, mine is in the hundreds. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that you thought I would get... Okay, well, so then you're... I okay. think moist and like properly wet is the difference to me. Like a moist hand can be sweaty. Yeah, yeah. So if someone shakes a sweaty hand, you can be like, oh, it's a bit gross, but you're not like, what the fuck? Yeah. See, I think that this is my loophole is I don't have to shake the hand of everyone I'm introduced Fist to. Bump. Fist bump, if anything. Or just be like, oh, sorry, COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bump elbows. Like, yeah. Why is it a moist elbow? Like, <laughs> oh, damn it. I didn't realize this would happen. <laughs> um, but I'm like, just at work, I'm introduced to enough people to be like, this is annoying. Yeah. Me, okay. And I don't want to, uh, even just me knowing that I've got the moist hands, yeah. I kind of want that. Yeah. I, I put you as 700. Okay. Yeah. And then I put me as 500 because I feel like, I probably shake less hands because just like the nature of our works are different. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, I think I could get away with it more. Because yeah. like if we shook hands, you'd know. Yeah. We're friends. So you'd be like, oh, he's got the moist hand thing. He, he got 500 bucks for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. How much money would it take you to always use the middle urinal when there is a set of three? Fair, mm. Forever? I guess forever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if it's forever, that ups the value. Wait, can we can we say that it's forever, but not if it's taken? Like, you don't have to wait for yeah, somebody. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, it's not that extreme. Look. But sort of extreme. Okay. Uh, I reckon you and I are probably maybe the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see. Okay. I've gone with nothing at all. Okay. D d zero dollars. Okay. Look, okay, then my my tact is different. Yeah, okay. Only because it's the rest of our life. Yeah. I was like, well, you need some convenience pay just <laughs> okay. for like yeah, yeah, having just to do this like thing. I've, so I, I've said that we need to do $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it's $10,000. Sure, for the rest of my yeah. life, I'll do the middle one. Just in the I bank. agree with you. It yeah. doesn't actually affect me. Yeah, I don't yeah. Care. Yeah. But if, if I was obligated to no matter what, yeah. I'm like, well, I need some remuneration for that. I do think it's funny that. So I think there's this thing, right, where people talk about online, you know, the idea of, oh, every second year and all, it's, it's just a waste of space kind of thing. Yeah. You don't really need it. And I think most people are like tongue-in-cheek joking, like it doesn't actually matter. It's like, yeah, you, you go yeah. to the separate ones when it's there, but like if it's full, like you just go to the free one. Yeah. But I think there's people that genuinely uh, – would never do that. And they're like, oh, no, 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 don't just wait until somebody's finished. Don't stand next to them. I'm like, yeah, that's weird. And I feel like that's directed at this person answering this question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, that means nothing to me at all just to uh, use middle urinal. In fact, I use the middle stall, um, toilet stall at work always uh, because there's only three. I always use the middle one because people so often use the ones on either side the, the one in the middle is like the cleanest <laughs> and has the most toilet paper. And uh, yeah, that's my little life hack for everyone. If you're using so, because why does it even matter? You're in like a little cubicle anyway. Uh -huh. You don't see anyone. You're not that close to anyone. That's my life hack. Uh, how much money would it take? Maybe we should only do one or two more. Okay, okay. wait. Let me see. Uh, oh, okay. How much money would it take you to tell a preschool class of 20 kids that Santa isn't real? Okay. I, I I have an answer for this for yep. both of us. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, minus 50 bucks. I've gone you and I both $0. Yeah, yeah. No, You're I'm just, saying I'd pay someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we both agree that we'd both just do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I... I would not only do that, but I would say other things like, hey, it Italy's not really. <laughs> Just really yeah. throw, like, make them confused. Yeah. In, yeah. in what is real and what's not. They can't trust anything anymore. <laughs> Give those kids a complex. See that kid over there? He's not real. Yeah. Oh. And then they that kid just gets punched a lot because they're like, you're not real. And they get slapped. Right? Uh,. Uh, okay, how much money would it take you to spank the next person that tries to high five you? To spank, okay, uh, okay, yeah, I've got, I've got an answer for this. 
Okay. I think you and I might have the same logic here, but I'm I'm interested to know whether or not we do. Okay. Uh, and I'm playing statistics here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my uh, mine is zero dollars. Yeah, I put zero dollars. Yeah, yeah. Us. And is it because you're most likely to high five Stacy or you? Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Statistically, yeah. I'm going to high five a close friend. Yeah, and yeah. if I give him a little spank, they're like, "Oh, hello." Yeah, I was like, I I feel like I occasionally high five Ellen, and so yeah, yeah. Give Stacey, her a spank. I actually high five a lot. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you're very supportive of each other. Yes. I actually do want to do what, just one more. Okay. Sorry, sorry. La- la- very, very, very last one. How much money would it take you to permanently change? All your email signatures to XOXOXOXO XO, XO, me. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what's the annual salary of a job? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming this is. Okay, all emails. Okay, so it's mm-hmm. work and personal. Yeah. Shoe uh, 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 stuff. <laughs> This is health. Okay, I think uh, I have it. Yeah, I think I've All right. got it. What did you would you put? <laughs> Mine's pretty high. Yeah. I've gone two million dollars. <laughs> oh wow, I'm way, way undervalued you. I put twenty five thousand. Oh yeah. And then I, I put you... myself fifteen thousand. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm less valuable than Mine you. Is... <laughs> Mine is way high, and it's only because of work emails. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, well, I want enough money to yeah. not and, work. And, and your your job in particular. Yeah, yeah. Big no no for big, you. Big no no <laughs> for me. Uh, yeah, I think the thing is, I I would just uh, need to have enough money that I would not need to work again, yeah. uh, and uh, yeah, have have enough to invest and live <laughs> off that for the rest of my life. And I figure that that's like at least $2 million. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, that's it. We're probably going to end the episode there. Yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, thank you for writing in April. Uh, if you would like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R-E-A-D-I-T podcast at gmail.com. Yep. You can also reach us at Facebook, Twitter, and our subreddit. They're all R-E-A-D-I-T podcast. Uh, we should be appreciated if you could uh, subscribe and whatnot. Uh, rate the show, etc. Rate, rate the show, etc. Thanks for listening, and we will read you later. Thanks for listening.